A DTQ or a Dream Team quest is a player-imposed challenge run of a main series Pokemon game. The player simply chooses their six favorite Pokemon, or in this instance, their six favorite shiny Pokemon, and shiny hunts them throughout the duration of their challenge, at which point they will take all six of those Dream Shinies and challenge the Elite Four. Once the Elite Four has been beaten with those six shiny Pokemon, that's it. DTQ is over, you win. Now, a DTQ isn't exactly a new concept. In fact, the shiny hunting community has been doing this for over a decade, most traditionally at the full odds, which is how I'm going to do this DTQ. Last fall, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet version were released worldwide, and as an avid shiny hunter, I knew that I had to make my first playthrough a blind DTQ. That means that I didn't see the decks as it released, and I didn't see any of the shiny sprites that were leaked and I discovered what my DTQ was going to be as I discovered new species. It made it really fun. Now in the Paldea region, shiny Pokemon appear in the overworld, much to some people's chagrin and to much to some people's pleasure. I'm not here to discuss that. I'm here to tell you that it's a lot quicker to shiny hunt at the full odds in these games, and I thought this might be a quick little project to complete on stream. Much to zero people's surprise, I set a new world record for longest shiny hunt for one of these Pokemon. That's right, I hatched more eggs for a shiny Paldean starter than any other person has ever documented on the internet. I had a lot of fun doing this, and I actually have another project that I started and recently completed after I completed this DTQ, so if you're interested in seeing more stuff like that, stay tuned to this channel. Without further ado, here is my Scarlet version shiny Dream Team quest. <laughs> Uh-oh, there's a giraffe rig that's sleeping down here that I can't see. Hi, baby. Good morning. You can go back to sleep. I just wanted to see if you had a blue nose. That's all. That's all. You hey, Dawn fan, just checking to make sure your babies are all healthy and not at all different colors. Seems like you guys got a great thing. Hey! How dare you! That's true, Samukul. Yeah, I love the game. I mean, Sword and Shield is my favorite Pokemon game um, of recent, of, of like the 3D era. I was about to say of recent, but I guess that was three years ago. Um, oh, Shiny Giraffe Rig! Shiny Giraffe Rig! Yes! Look at it! Shiny Giraffe Rig! Yay! Cool! Oh, the baby's here. Let's alternate. We'll do quick ball, great ball. I think I caught my um, shining pearl one in a quick ball. Okay, great ball, great ball, great ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Phantom. Three full odds giraffe rigs this year. Literally not a single Tauros. Aha. Let's do this shiny one. Okay, we've got regular Tauros, shiny blue Ur. Let's terrestrialize it for the murder. Pickle and Olive, got it, thank you. That's impressive exist. And, oh, there's the baby. There's the baby. Isn't she precious? Look at all the Tauros. Let that be a message. And baby's first murder. All right, let's see what this guy is. Blooper wants to learn twin beam. Can I get some stats on Arctabax? I... Oh, he digivolves, doesn't he? Oh! Oh! Oh, God. I hope this is good. He keeps the blue nose! We did it! Yes! And the fur is red! Oh! Yes! Oh! <gasps> 
while I'd started out my DTQ knowing that I would be shiny hunting Sprigatito and Giraffe Rig so that I could get that awesome Frigoraph evolution, my next hunt was kind of up in the air. While I liked both Armor Rouge and the Blaze Breed Tauros, I didn't really know which one I wanted to add to my DTQ. I liked them both so much, so I let fate decide. I popped a level 2 encounter power fire sandwich, and whichever one shined first, that was going to be the next member of the DTQ, and this is how that went. Yeah. I mean, maybe I should be doing Sprigatito eggs. Yeah. But I, I'm, I just want, I'm ready to find the truck. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't want to go live. I'm really low energy. Oh, yeah. I, I don't want to stream. I'm, no. I'm going to take it easy. Uh... I guess I'll do some Sprigatito eggs after this. Because <sighs> I need to get that hunt done. And I know it's going to take weeks. <laughs> Apparently, Miascarada is uh, competitively viable, so I'm kind of like... Hmm. Oh, nice. I haven't seen it. <gasps> Shiny Fire Tauros! I knew that looked different! No It's the way. Fire Tauros! You're it. Are you oh serious? my gosh! I knew it looked different. Oh my god, I knew dude. It. It's the Fire one, Taylor! Yeah, I know. That's insane. That's insane. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. I was like, why is his face so dark? Wow. I didn't yep. save. Um, you didn't save the just. He doesn't balls. know anything. He doesn't know anything though, right? I have no. I don't know. He. I don't think he knows like explosion, but he might know it like a okay, like double check. edge or something. Just don't weaken him. Just, not... just yeah, yeah, definitely check. I'm gonna check. Damn. I didn't even dream I would get the fire Taurus before a regular Taurus. Oh, critical yeah. capture. Oh. Yes. Got in a timer ball. Oh. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. We've got a regular goodbye. And shiny Paldean Tauros, the fire one. I don't know how to say that better, but here we go. <laughs> Let's terastalize it, see what it looks like. We'll get a flame charge up. Oh, man. That's crazy. Oh. Here we go. Look, now he's got a nice little fire hat. So cool. Oh, I really like this one because his tail is all braided and everything. Um, and the other Tauros, uh, the other Paldean Tauros, it's, it's not like that. I still don't know what the water one looks like. So I might look at that now that I've seen this. All right, and oh, no baby's first murder. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Flame charge. Baby's first murder. I'll come back to Charcadet later. I'll see you guys in the next one. Right before Giraffe Rig evolved into Furigaraf, I actually discovered a brand new Pokemon on stream. That was Arctabax. At the time, I had no clue that Arctabax evolved from Frigibax or that it evolved into Bax Calibur, so I did a little bit of research within the community without getting too much information and discovered that I could shiny hunt Frigibax. This hunt was pretty daunting. It was very difficult to see the Pokemon between the snowstorms and the white slopes, so it took a while, but it was totally worth it. Recent. Nope, still just Mass Chef was the last one on stream. It's crazy that I found three shinies last night, though. Knackley, Blaze Tauros, and then Grievered. Very good haul for the night. So it kind of makes sense that I didn't find anything during stream today. It about it evens out that's why full odds is so fun because you just like you never know what's gonna happen <laughs> shiny i literally just i was like that guy looks different <laughs> shiny fridge of x <laughs> oh, god i'm gonna try to get him in a lugs ball I did be fine. I didn't even notice it. I didn't even notice it. Lux ball. Let's go. Get some nature guesses in the chat. Okay. Um, nature guesses. I'm going to guess modest. 
I haven't gotten a Mark Shiny yet. That'd be kind of crazy. But, um... Another neutral? I keep getting neutral. Oh! Wait. Oh, it's sociable. It is marked. Cool! It's docile. <laughs> my first marked shiny, too. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's do baby's first murder before this guy gets me. All right. We got regular Frigibax and shiny Frigibax. It's hard to notice over here if you do this hunt. Godspeed. Uh, let's see if we can do baby's first murder. Oh, that's right, Call. You said you're doing it full odds. Never mind. I love you. You should just do this method, honey. You should just do it. And? Baby's first murder. Oh, he runs? What are you scared of, buddy? Oh. <laughs> Probably my favorite. Uh... Pokemon design of this generation for sure. It's it's very hard. It's very hard for me to choose because Frigiraf is like because I love Giraffe Rig so much. This is just like on its good a great design. Okay, here we go. I uh I wanted to make sure I was battling another Arctabax. This is where I fell in love, like Glaciado Mountain. I I found Arctabax. I was like, oh I need to shiny hunt this. I love this design so much. Um, a lot of people have mixed feelings about how I'll feel about this. <laughs> Whoa. It's literally Godzilla. Oh my gosh. Fax Caliber. Okay, regular Gothitelle and Shiny Fax Caliber the Sociable. You can barely see this dude. Crazy. All right, I'm excited to see Glaive Rush. <laughs> what? <laughs> that looks literally like an ancient Godzilla movie, you know, where they like have them on the wires and they make Godzilla fly. And it looks like obviously it was on wires. Ugh, oh, that's crazy. Um, I love this Pokemon. And uh, this is a great shiny. The next member of the DTQ is actually a Pokemon I discovered by using the map. It appeared as an icon on the map and I had no clue what the Pokemon was. So I decided that I'd wait for the next outbreak to pop up and I would hunt it until I found the shiny. It's literally in the, like there's nothing over here. It's like a huge cliff and then just like, how many, so every time I come over here, I see three, six, nine, I see 15. Finn isn't out of time every time I come over here. So I'll reach odds. Let's see how many it's taking me. Six seconds to reset them. So six seconds, I see 15. I'm seeing 150 every minute. And that means in, yeah, in 30 minutes, I'll reach odds. Like, like I said, it's pretty easy. But I also went to 22K on a Regirock. So going to odds doesn't mean you're getting the shiny. <laughs> Right before this game came out, I went to 20k on Mewtwo. Oh, is that Shiny Finizen? Oh, yes! Shiny Finizen! Don't swim away. There it is! There it is! Okay, okay. I'm going to record this YouTube video. I'll call you back in a second. All right, I'm back. Woo! Look at that! Oh, that's so pretty! I was just on uh, a phone call with my friend, DJ, who's shiny hunting right now. Oh my gosh. Shiny Finn is in. Full odds, baby. Full odds shiny. Oh man. I, I was a little bit nervous that I wouldn't notice that, but I noticed it. Oh, I was so happy that an outbreak popped up today. Um, I'm going to catch this in a dive ball, I think. I'd been waiting for another outbreak uh, to pop up because I had one on like day two. First ball, check it out. Um, so this popped up last night and I actually don't know what this, I don't know what it looks like when it evolves. So I think I'll, I'll figure out the evolution and um, add that to this video here in a second. But um, Finizen is a Pokemon used for the playthrough. 
and I absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to name this one. I, I grew up in the 90s, and my dad and I always watched Flipper, so I'm going to name it Flipper. Sophia the Waitress. We've got a regular Indeedee male and shiny Flipper the Finizen. Very cool. Oh, that looks so good. The green in the eyes is a really nice touch. Oh gosh, this is definitely this is definitely one I've wanted uh, ever since I saw it. I was like, we got a dolphin Pokemon. That's so cool. And uh, wow, that looks so nice. All right, look at dude. The hat is perfect. It looks like it's it's got like a spout, a built-in water spout, if you will. Oh wow. And baby's first time getting murdered. I'll see you guys in the evolution part. Okay, so I just evolved my Finizen, um, and I thought I was recording. I was not recording. Uh, this is the evolution of Finizen. This is Palafin, and the big change here is it has a heart on its chest. Um, but the real transformation happens in battle. When you evolve your Finizen into Palafin, it tries to learn Flip Turn, which is awesome. Because flip turn is like a uh, it's a water type U-turn. So I'm gonna see if I can show you guys this insane transformation. Um, I I couldn't believe I couldn't believe what it looked like. Now check this guy out. This is I'm gonna see if I can get a good picture of him. I, <laughs> this is such a cool gimmick. Uh, I hope it's usable. And there he goes. Flipper, zero to hero. Check him out. Okay, well, he might have just gotten like a little bit beaten up, but that's okay, that's okay. The penultimate member of the DTQ is actually something that I switched around. I had previously chosen Grieverd, but when I was playing through the game, I had used Paldean Wooper and saw its evolution and I just had to find it shiny. For some reason, there's not very much footage left from this hunt, but I was able to salvage at least the reaction. This shiny popped up right after I found another full odds shiny, maybe three minutes before. It was crazy. Can't do that to me. What am I gonna do? I might eat one. Oh, wait, wait, is that shiny Clodsire? Dude, that's shiny Clodsire. What the heck? I just got shiny Corvusquire. That's it, that is it, right? I'm not losing my mind. That's him! That's the baby! I just got shiny Corvusquire! Oh my gosh! No way! Ah, uh, Bro. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I just got a shiny! <laughs> oh my gosh. Five members of the DTQ down and in tow. It was finally time for me to start hatching those Sprigatito eggs that I'd been putting off for so long. This is actually my first full odds egg hunt that I'd ever done for a shiny Pokemon in any Pokemon game, so I didn't know exactly what to expect, but creating eggs in this game was a lot different than what I was used to. I spent hours and hours of my day just going back and making sandwiches to create egg powers and collecting eggs for stream and I would hatch something like eight to 10 boxes every single stream. And this actually dragged on for four months. I found that last member Clodzire while I was hatching eggs. That was back in December. I hatched shiny Sprigatito in March, March. God. I haven't seen a single spread with a neutral nature. But the pinch berries are like almost exclusively used on like Amoongus, Brute Bonnet, Arcanine. Dude, you can use a pinch berry on that uh on that Arcanine survival set. Ryan. We just go thick as hell, give it a pinch berry and nasty plot. Call it a day. Done. Or we just go Terror of Water like a good player. 
Dominance, thanks for the super mega shiny luck. I appreciate it. Father Glock, thanks so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the support. I hope you enjoy your ad free. <gasps> oh, Shiny Sprigatino! Oh my god, it's here! Holy crap! Oh, 18,364! Yes! <laughs> no way! <laughs> it's naughty damn right it's naughty damn right it's naughty i can't believe i actually have the shiny i can't believe this oh gosh we have so many paradox pokemon to catch now <gasps> Look! We could choose. It's gonna evolve. Thank you, Skyra. Appreciate you. Pretty shiny. There was a really good Taurus. Are you guys ready? I was about to say, make the happy desk go away. Oh, dude, that looks so good. Oh, dude, I love it. It's my favorite for sure. Look at this dream team, dude. Look at this freaking dream team. I love you so much, Furigraph. You're still my favorite. Don't tell Sprigatito. I love you so much, Tauros. You're still my favorite. Don't tell Furigraph. I love you so much, Malvin. Don't tell Baxcalibur. I love you so much, Baxcalibur. I love you so much, Claude Sire. Don't tell Palafin. Did somebody die? Where's the cat? Hey! I love you so much, Sprigatito. Don't tell the whole world. Look, it's so dumb.